Welcome to the uproarious world of Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In, a groundbreaking television series that took the entertainment landscape by storm in 1967. Have you ever wondered which character from this iconic show left the most lasting impression on you? Or perhaps, when did you first find yourself captivated by the comedic genius of this timeless series? Before we delve into your personal experiences, let's set the stage with some intriguing tidbits about Laugh-In. This fast-paced sketch comedy not only introduced the world to the irreverent and satirical humor of its hosts, Dan Rowan and Dick Martin, but also featured an ensemble cast that seamlessly blended social commentary with laughter. The show's quick-witted sketches, memorable catchphrases, and unconventional format made it a cultural phenomenon, earning it widespread acclaim. Now back to you. What is your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this classic TV series? Did you have a favorite character or sketch that left you in stitches every time? Share your stories and reminisce in the comments below. We'd love to hear about the moments that made Rowan and Martin's laugh and unforgettable for you. So, who was your favorite among the eclectic cast of characters? And when did you first find yourself hooked on the comedic brilliance of laughing? Your memories are the key to unlocking the timeless charm of this iconic show. Share your thoughts and let the laughter continue. In the late 1960s, inspired by the success of the Smothers Brothers Comedy Hour, producer George Schlatter conceptualized a contemporary variety show that embraced skits, slapstick, blackouts, topical and political humor, and musical bits. This led to the birth of Laugh-In, a groundbreaking series that drew influence from the Hells of Poppin' review of the late 30s. Originally titled Straighten Up and Turn Left, the show's name was eventually coined by a writer inspired by the hippie movement's Love Ends and Be Ends. A distinctive feature of the show was the use of outtakes. If a sketch went awry due to a blown line, the blooper was included in the broadcast before the perfected take. This unconventional approach added a unique and humorous element to the show. Fast forward to 2017, Time Life marked the 50th anniversary of Laugh, and by releasing a comprehensive box set containing all six seasons along with bonus materials. This milestone allowed fans to relive the iconic moments and laughter that defined this groundbreaking series. Rowan and Martin's laugh and left an indelible mark on television, introducing a fresh and irreverent style that resonated with audiences. From political satire to zany sketches, the show's blend of comedy genres set a precedent for future comedic endeavors. In the late 60s, Rowan and Martin's laugh and revolutionized television with its unique blend of skits, political humor, and musical bits. The show's unconventional approach included airing outtakes, adding a humorous touch to unexpected blunders. As laugh and marked its 50th anniversary in 2017, Time Life released a comprehensive box set, allowing fans to relive the groundbreaking moments that defined this iconic series. During its regular series run from 1968, two young Toronto natives, Lorne Michaels and Hart Pomerantz, joined the writing staff. Their brief tenure, marked by creative differences, led them to leave after a single season. Michaels later found fame in Los Angeles, while Pomerantz became a successful entertainment lawyer in Canada. The influence of Laugh and extended beyond its immediate success. The country-themed Hee Haw, directly inspired by Laugh In, aimed to appeal to a more conservative audience. Gary Owens, an integral part of Laugh-In, served as the inspiration for a character on Hee Haw. In a quirky twist, the 2017 Time Life DVD set showcased episodes without the original advertising plates. This absence inadvertently highlighted the eccentric nature of the show, such as Gary Owens maintaining his pose during commercial breaks. Rowan and Martin's Laugh-In left an indelible mark on television, introducing a fresh and irreverent style that resonated with audiences. From political satire to zany sketches, the show's blend of comedy genres set a precedent for future comedic endeavors. Rec, a prominent hair products brand, played a pivotal role in sponsoring the second and third seasons of the iconic TV series. Their involvement added a commercial touch to the show's success. Meanwhile, the famous catchphrase beautiful downtown Burbank originated from Gary Owens back in 1961, serving as one of his distinct radio weather report phrases. Owens, known for his quirky humor, also created his trademark cupped hand over his ear bit during an amusing encounter at the Smokehouse restaurant in Burbank. This bit, born out of jest and spontaneity, became a memorable element of the show, showcasing the whimsical nature that defined Rowan and Martin's laugh-in. These anecdotes shed light on the intriguing behind-the-scenes dynamics that contributed to the show's charm and enduring legacy. 
Amidst the cultural landscape of the late 60s, Rowan and Martin's laugh and made a lasting impact with its irreverent blend of comedy. Notably, the show played an unexpected role in the 1968 presidential election. Both leading candidates were invited to make cameo appearances. Richard Nixon accepted, delivering the now iconic line, sock it to me, which ironically became prophetic as Congress sought to sock it to him later. Meanwhile, the catchphrase, here come the judge, became a cultural phenomenon after Sammy Davis Jr.'s tribute to Dewey Pigmeat Marco. The phrase even inspired novelty records and an ice cream flavor. Markham's influence extended to the charts, with both him and Shorty Long scoring top 20 hits in 1968. These quirky moments encapsulate the unexpected cultural impact of a show that, beyond its laughs, left an indelible mark on the era's zeitgeist. In 1967, a television sensation was born. Originally airing as a one-time special on Saturday, September 9, it quickly soared to unprecedented heights. The show secured a regular one-hour time slot on Monday nights from January 22, 1968, replacing the man from UNCLE. This move catapulted it to the top, claiming the coveted title of the number one show on television for its first two full seasons. However, success proved ephemeral as key talent departed for broader horizons in show business. Despite its initial triumph, the show eventually concluded its run in 1973. Remarkably, when the curtains fell on Rowan and Martin's laugh-in, the official explanation was that they had exhausted the well of parody. It seemed the show's irreverent and groundbreaking approach had pushed the limits of satire, leaving little unturned. This revelation marked an intriguing chapter in the legacy of a show that had redefined the landscape of television comedy. While the show bid farewell in 1973, its echoes reverberated years later. In 1977, there was a brief revival featuring new episodes with notable stars like Robin Williams. Unfortunately, the resurgence was short-lived and failed to secure a lasting foothold. Interestingly, during the summer of 1979, the show experienced a resurgence in popularity after Robin Williams became the star of Mork and Mindy, a testament to the enduring impact of Rowan and Martin's laugh in on the entertainment industry. The rise, peak, and eventual decline of this iconic show serve as a compelling narrative in the annals of television history. From a one-time special to dominating the small screen, Rowan and Martin's laugh and left an indelible mark on the cultural zeitgeist, shaping the trajectory of comedy for years to come. As we bid farewell to the colorful world of comedic chaos that is Rowan and Martin's laugh in, take a moment to delve into the recesses of your memory. What moments made you double over in laughter? Which zany characters linger in the corridors of your mind? Whether it's the irreverent humor, the quirky sketches, or the unforgettable catchphrases, this iconic show has etched itself into the tapestry of entertainment history. As we part ways, I encourage you to reflect on your personal connection with Laugh-In. Was it a comforting companion during late-night giggles, or a source of familial joy around the television set? Share your anecdotes, your musings, your laughter-infused recollections with us. Let the spirit of laugh and live on through your stories, binding us together in a shared appreciation for the timeless art of laughter. In the comments below, let the community become a canvas for your memories. What made you smile during those unpredictable moments? Was it the rapid fire jokes, the unpredictable antics, or perhaps the clever social commentary woven into the fabric of the show? Your experiences are the threads that weave the legacy of Rowan and Morton's laugh in into the rich tapestry of cultural nostalgia. So, my fellow mirth seekers, let the comment section become a stage where we share the laughter that transcends time. Thank you for taking this journey down memory lane with us. Your time and reminiscences are treasured gems, adding sparkle to the enduring legacy of a show that made the world laugh. Until we meet again in the land of humor and hilarity, keep those memories alive and keep the laughter rolling.